Hello everyone. Today I just wanted to talk about and share some of my opinions and thoughts on some recent K-pop drama things. When I saw Jihyo's horrid extensions, I wasn't even surprised. It's honestly crazy to me, the amount of idols who are getting their hair botched with these horrible extensions. Why do these big companies hire stylists who can't do their job? Let's be serious right now, I could probably do better, a kit could do better because why can't we hire qualified people? Also, after the stylist does their job horribly, why doesn't anyone bat an eye? Does no one notice how they just wrecked their besties hair? Free Jihyo Free Danielle Free Hanifem. This was crazy, but I'm not surprised. I feel like Sorn is always doing something crazy. Here we are again. She did write an apology, it was okay, I guess. Felt like she was trying to save herself instead of just owning up to it. She's grown, she should have known better, and should have said something but she didn't. <music> Miss Natty ate down. I'm so excited for Kiss of Life's debut. They have the Natty debuting with them, and after they released this solo song of Natty, I'm really excited about the type of music the group will make, along with their concept. So, I love DXT. Of course, I'm going to tune in and listen to this song when it comes out. However, I don't know what to expect. I was never a Jonas Brothers girly, so I wasn't really excited when I found out. Usually, I'm not a fan of TXT's collabs, like their single collabs, what I mean by that are songs not realized on their albums. Two examples would be PS5 or Valley of Lies. However, I'd like their collab with Coilery on their album. So, I'll try to keep an open mind. So, there's currently a video going around of a clip from a NIV concert. At the concert, the fans were putting up their eyes on light sticks while Ray, Licia, Gil, and Liz were on stage. And then, people in the VIP section were screaming at Ray, body shaming one eye on, and mocking Licia. And in the clip, Licia was crying while one eye on tried to get the crowd to cheer her up. So my problem isn't the fans bringing eyes on light sticks. Light sticks are expensive, so it's not fair to expect everyone to have the light stick of every group they like. However, my problem with this was the people in the VIP section being rude to the members. Why even go and waste your money like this if you don't even like the members? This whole situation is so uncomfortable, and all these people making a 16-year-old cry because of this is insane. Get a life. When I saw the first teaser for this song, I was a little lost, because why do we hate Rodrigo? I was in my denial era, I was saying maybe she doesn't mean Olivia Rodrigo. However, then the music video teaser came out and she was definitely referencing Olivia Rodrigo, and sis got Yuki to help her. I know some people have already been coming for her, however, I feel like we shouldn't make assumptions before the song comes out. We don't know the lyrics, or really anything about the song. Yina was also a fan of Olivia, so I doubt she would make a song hating on her. However, this is some good marketing, just dropping the title track name with the name Hate Rodrigo would definitely get attention, and it's working. All of Luna is free. I know Hasul signed under Madhouse, the same company that promised the return of OEC and hopes to reunite all of Luna. Hyunjin and Vivi are under Connect the Dots, and Chu is under Atrip. I wonder where the other girls will sign under, and hopefully, they'll be able to release music together again. As you guys already know, I don't know that many Luna songs. However, the ones I've heard all eat down, especially Odd Eye Circle. I don't like Blockberry Entertainment, but they knew what they were doing with Odd Eye Circle because Uncover will always eat. But speaking of Odd Eye Circle, they're confirmed to be having a comeback in July and I saw that they're going on a small tour to London, Berlin, Warsaw, and Paris in August. This is giving me Red Velvet tour announcement flashbacks, the fact that they're not coming to America does hurt me. If both groups came here on the East Coast, I would definitely be in the stadium, trust? Anyways, that's all for today's video, bye.